Hello coin collectors, welcome back to the All Change Review. As you can see, this week we're looking at one of the 2016 coins, as the Royal Mint have officially announced this week the Mintage figures. Now, I don't like to make these videos before the Mintage figures are announced. As regular viewers will know, we take a rough look at the average values of what the coins are selling for at the time of recording. And without these Mintage figures, it's a bit harder to put a value on it, because we don't know how scarce they are. But with that, we will come on to the mintage and value of this coin later in the video. So, with that, let's come on to the coin itself. Following on from the huge success of the London 2012 50p series, many of which we've already looked at, the Royal Mint wanted to do something to celebrate Rio and Team GB, but of course Brazil had the official license for the Olympics and Paralympics and have actually also released a similar series to the 50p's that we had as well on their coins which are reels but that's a collection for another video so the Royal Mint to celebrate and show support commissioned a coin to celebrate Team GB and we have to assume here that they're also representing Paralympics GB as well but I think there might be another story behind that either way we have here at the top of the coin, the Team GB logo of the lion head showing above Team GB and the Olympic rings. Then we have this swimmer, dominant in the coin, surrounded by these swirls just on the left here. The designer is credited as Tim Sharp. He's part of a design consortium called Uniform. And as they put it down as a team effort, you can see just here there's a little U hiding in the splash. Now, when Tim was asked about this coin, he said the initial inspiration came from a poem from the London Games called The Champion's Story. And again, regular viewers will know, I'm not afraid to try pronunciation, but I will have to apologise for it, because the poem was done by Fope Jagade, and I am sorry if I have mispronounced that. But I'll put a link below to the poem, as it's actually a really nice one. Tim then goes on to say, we chose a swimmer, as it was such a dramatic, iconic pose. And it was more about choosing an athlete that was poised and energetic, rather than singling out an uh, individual athlete. He also said, it was all about representing the athlete in mid-flight, poised and ready. And it was really important to have a dynamic, strong, agile position. And we're really pleased with how the final design came out. And as for these swells here, they wanted to represent Team GB and the support of the nation as a whole. And while you might not see it because the colours aren't there, these are actually representing the Union Jack. It's not a bad design, it's simple, to the point, and it does add another one to the list that people keep thinking are part of the London 2012 series, the same as the 4 minute mile, but overall it's effective. With that, let's actually come on to the mintage figures and the current value now. So, as I said, the figures only came out this week, but it was a little obvious they weren't going to be low for this one as this coin was everywhere all over last summer and there's still quite a few around in circulation now as they officially released 6,400,000 in circulation so it doesn't even come close to being the top 10 rarest 50ps but with that I had a look at the last five sold from circulation online and they actually went for an average of 95 pence which was a little higher than I was expecting but I think that might change in the next few weeks and they will start to come down so, before we come to the end, you're probably going to be expecting in the next few weeks for me to do the Peter Rabbit 50ps, as I have had a lot of requests for them. But I want to wait for the hype over the new ones they're releasing into circulation to die down a little bit before we cover them off. So, as we now come to the end of today's All Change Review, do you actually have this one in your collection? If so, let us know in the comments section below. And if you found today's video informative, give us a like and subscribe for future content. But until next time, coin collectors, thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.